Hi, Drew Cho, it's Saturday the 24th of July 2021. Today is the first of five weddings that you've been invited to over this summer. Today's is Clive's, a friend from Cambridge or more predominantly from Poker Nights in London since graduation. Should be a good one. Your second wedding, Saw Hills, in front of the Guduara. 21st of August 2021, my 26th birthday. Happy Today birthday. I'm at my Happy third birthday. wedding Happy on the trot. Uh, Lukash and Cindy's, who are friends from school. August the 30th, but imagine it's actually the 29th. You came up here yesterday back at Peter House in Cambridge to celebrate Eli, a mathematician from Peter House, his wedding. They were at the Deer Park, they gave their vows, and then we moved to Corpus where Tristan, the other side of the duo studied physics and then we had a great dinner and a great after party in the Corpus Bar. And now it's September 4th, right after I finish filming this video I'll be off to the Christian half of Star Hill's wedding. Finally I'm getting good use out of the many suits I bought all those years ago. Sahil is another friend from Peter House who studied computer science in the same year as me and for those keeping track that's only four weddings, Sahil's and Emma's, Eli and Tristan's, Lukash's and Cindy's, May's and Clive's, and unfortunately the fifth wedding was Arnus and Dormante. They unfortunately are in, well their wedding was in Lithuania and due to Covid I wasn't able to attend. Other than attending weddings, my primary focus and the cause of most of my suffering has been my master's dissertation. I finally handed it in last week, a massive weight off my shoulders. More news on that front will be in my next video. Since my last update in April, restrictions have effectively lifted and I've been double vaccinated for a while, so I've finally been able to go for dinners and beers with some friends and that's been really, really good. I also managed to get away for a trip in Brighton with some school friends and a trip to Cambridge to visit some university finalists and PhD friends that I have and that's been really, really good too. <laughs> Also, I managed to go to Vermont House for a research group away day, finally seeing colleagues that I'd only met over Zoom over the past year. Then on that Friday the 9th of July 2021, today you are at Wimbledon in court number one and you just watched both matches of the women's doubles semi-finals. I cannot mention a sport without the month of badness which was the Euros. Putting racism and Covid to the side, it was a phenomenal time to be an England supporter. Everyone singing it's coming home, everyone just feeling great about the team, especially after the semi-final knockout in the World Cup. Getting to the final of the Euros was poetic. Unfortunately, they still lost in penalties, but incredible effort from the team. Also incredible effort from the Great Britain Olympic team in Tokyo 2020. Absolutely phenomenal results and gripping to watch. I also went to the West End to see the new Cinderella production and minor spoilers, I was in the seats at the front that revolved with the stage. That was just an incredible experience and I would recommend going to watch it. I have another performance in the West End Hamilton next month which I'm ecstatic for. I'm going to see Shang-Chi in the theatres this week actually too and then Eternals next month and don't even get me started on Spider-Man. I am looking forward to it so much. Hopefully it could even be better than Endgame. I, I, I don't know. Then the new Diamond and Pearl remakes are coming out. For those who don't know, this is probably my favourite game of all time. At least it's the game that I've spent the most time on. A massive part of my childhood. And that's it. A short video, unlike the length of my hair. I probably need to cut it at some point. Although I do like it this length. Regardless, see you in the next one.